How can this even work, you may ask? Well, that's a good question. So, welcome to another video on my channel and let's talk about the answer. So you want to build something like this without using this, but the only thing you got is this. Don't worry, here's the solution. So we all know there's no way to either cross the central axis of your rotor or uh, the body you want to go through it. Right? Well, not at all. There's one block that lets you pass through. So now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce that one piece of space engineers that never wanted to become a mechanical block and never even was a useful one, but now is an explicit mechanical part, double handrails. Sounds stupid, doesn't it? But as you can see from this example, it works. These two halves of the frame are still one grid connected by the two double handrails. And this is how this artificial gravity ring style rotor works. And as you can see from the example, there's full conveying going through, but there's also a downside. First of all, it's large grid only. There's no way to build this in small grid. And also there's no way to build an airtight passage or even a walkway through it. At the first impression, this may seem as a style only thing, but I can also imagine a lot of uh, use cases for interesting constructions in uh, weapons, uh, cargo or even mining. So let me know about your ideas in the comments below. Two minutes and 40 seconds, pretty short for calling it a tutorial, yeah, but it's that simple. So thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, give a like. See you next time. Bye.